What's going on? It's your favorite creepy uncle, Alex. We're back with the mustache. And now that we're back in our element, today we got Thor Love and Thunder. Don't believe the lies to see. I can be more than a robot. Guys, I spent the majority of the morning making a bunch of products that I thought were fun and that I hope you guys like. I took the spider scare from the very first Harry Potter reaction and I put it on a mug with my signature. I thought that would be kind of cool. Then I made gooch boxers where the word gooch is, you know. And then I made a teddy bear that I used the words from the Kingsman, hail Satan and have a nice day. I don't even know I'm gonna release any of those, but that's what I've been doing. So I am more than excited to dive back into the Marvel journey. MCU, baby. <sighs> just another week going by where we're catching on to Marvel, where there's not gonna be any new movies. I'm really not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to a new Thor movie. We need a good Thor movie. And this is an interesting one because I've heard so many mixed things about this. I think this is a very divisive movie. People are either gonna love it or they're gonna hate it. Let's see which one we are. Guys, if you want access to these full length movie reactions before they release on YouTube, I'm gonna leave our Patreon link to the top of the description. You can go there and also vote in the polls to help me decide what movie we're checking out next. And most of these Marvel movies are edited by my boy Ellis, so I just wanted to take a second and, and Ellis do some badass editing to showcase your skill. <laughs> Ellis! We have, we have fun over here. Guys, let's get it. Thor Love and Thunder. Let's go. Who the hell? That looks like, looks like Christian Bale. Okay, great, Marvel. Starting off the beginning of a movie with a small child dying. Who are these sand folk? Wait, what? This can't be real because this is where y'all would have been. Wait, all his scaly crust just went away. It wouldn't work like that. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> What do we have here? Bring her a flight. Oh, it's one of mine. <laughs> what the hell? I am so confused. What the fuck is this? There's no eternal reward for you, dog! Don't throw your rind at the man. My daughter died. Oh God, what the fuck is on his face? What is happening? Oh, Jesus, into his trachea, dude. So this is my vow. Oh, God, she will die. Oh. He just cut off the head of a god. That seems like such a lofty ass goal to set for yourself. Why not some gods? Why not make it easy for yourself? Hey, some gods are gonna die because I'm gonna go ape shit on them, but then I wanna kick back and, and eat some cheeses. Hey, what am I name? Electric guitar vibe? Okay. Come. Come, gather round. Korg! We got Korg telling the story. Raised in the way of the warrior, Thor was taught to help win battles, fighting the good fight for those who can't fight good. <laughs> the song choice is perfect. Thor's one true love was an earth woman named Jane Fonda. Oh, wait, no. Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. <laughs> He'd lost a lot of people in those days. His mum, his dad, and that guy. And that guy, and whoever that is, yeah. and Heimdall, and his brother. Thor lost everybody. That's why he went through a deep, dark depression. It seemed that everything and oh, everyone he loved, dude. he lost. That, and so he hit that was a funny moment, but that's honestly like, that hits deep, seeing him like that. He got in shape, putting in the hard yards, and never skipping leg day. <laughs> he went from dad bod to god bod. But beneath his god bod, there was still a sad bod. Oh. Because all of the bods that Thor had worn over the years couldn't hide the pain that he was feeling on the inside. He's just chilling in the middle of combat. Accepting that he was only good for one thing. What? Waiting in quiet contemplation for someone to say, Thor, we need your help to win this battle. Aw, that's fucked up. Thor. We, we need, need your help to win, win this battle. battle. <laughs> yeah. See you down there. Hurry up! Did Thor just Harry Potter on his hammer? 
You're gonna break them. I am good. Uh, Groot, you are a sassy ass little plant, dude. Ragtag motley crew, misfit desperado. Turn the tide in the battle. <laughs> their names in history. Why are you standing up in front of, in the fire? <laughs> dude, he's wrecking shit. Thor doesn't need anybody. Who are these owl folk, dude? Oh, God. That was the weirdest fight scene I ever seen. It was funny, but what? Darcy! Have you told anyone else besides me? When people find out, they start acting weird. They're just. Wait, what's happening? She had a dialysis clinic or something? Anyway, it's not that serious. Jane, it's stage four. I have like, how many stages? Four. The, oh God, she's got cancer? Somewhere else you gotta be right now that's more important than chemo? No. Oh God, don't do that. She's like, <laughs> come on, we got places to go. Jane! You're not getting what the universe is actually trying to tell you, so let me translate. Slow the so. fuck down. <laughs> yeah. How many of you guys, super dark comment, know somebody that's been, that's close to you that's gone through cancer? I, I definitely, I have a couple people real close to me that have gone through cancer, have passed away. It's, it's a nasty fucking disease, dude. Obviously, like, yeah, no shit. Welcome to New Asgard. Damn, they got some cruise ships. Fuck is that Grinch looking kid doing? Because you're worthy. Old guys. Oh my gosh. How much do you think Old, Old Spice paid for that? And so now, I turn into godly stardust. Brother! And I'm an Marvel does a good job of telling people what happened in other movies. Like, this is a cool way to do that. <laughs> I am Hella! God is that God a... God. Oh, what's her name? Melissa McCarthy. There it is. We will never join you, witch. Well, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Those special effects suck. My bro! No, that does not deserve a standing ovation. Sit down. Who the hell is this? This is Jane, isn't it? Turn around, hooded woman. Yep, that's Jane. You can tell by the slope of her nose. Oh shit, she can move it. Immovable pieces. Okay, so what? It's saying she's got power or Thor's around? Kind of convenient that she has power, right? In return for your service, please accept these gifts. <laughs> As is tradition protected. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. Giant goats. Oh, look at those. They are wonderful. <laughs> oh, look at that. Those things are beautiful. What the hell? <laughs> Shut the hell up! Damn remote, so we can download the distress signal. Retrace your steps. Jesus. Right? <laughs> oh, I ain't digging through that crap. I love them. I, I love them. <laughs> I'm putting them down. Jesus, Nebula. Yeah. Oh. Thor, you okay? Yeah, bro. All good. <laughs> Thor, you are massive, dude. You can summon them with a special whistle. He does something like this. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. You have a go. Yeah, that's not oh, bug chain. That's, <laughs> that's not a whistle. After thousands of years of living, you don't seem to know who the hell you are. I've been lost before. Then I found meaning. I found love. And yeah, I got taken from me. And God, that hurts. But that shitty feeling is better than feeling empty. Better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Do you agree? Do you concur? You've grown too attached, damn it. I knew this would happen. You must go take this ship here as a parting farewell gift. Take the ship. My ship. Oh, yes, she's yours. <laughs> okay. Human handshake to the Asgardian shake into the snake that you cannot trust. <laughs> and then the Willis touch. <laughs> Thor, this is a family show. I think it's funny that Chris Hemsworth just had to get fucking massive swole for this character just because he's Thor. And I haven't even seen a damn shirtless scene yet. Is this the God Butcher? Hooded man with a long sword. <laughs> it's terrifying. 
Oh god, you're just unleashing some spirits? Oh, Jesus. Oh god, those are giant like devil spiders. Yo, look! Yeah, dude, I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Okay, and here are the goats again. <laughs> My neighbors are gonna be like, they're probably gonna call the authorities. Why does every monster seem to just be extremely underwhelming to Thor? He's like, yep, yeah, good to be back. Another day at the office. <laughs> Why? Who's the new guy? Oh, is it Jane? It's a hammer going around and she attached the, attracted the pieces, right? Yeah, it's Jane, right? Yeah. Whoa. That's my hammer you've got there. And that's my look. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Uri, why don't you take up that mask and reveal yourself? Come on. <laughs> Jane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a perfect shot. Let me tell you the legend of Thor and Jane. He was a god of thunder and she a woman of science. I love Korg narrating this movie, dude. I could use an entire universe of Korg narrating every movie. Thor taught Jane the way of the warrior. <laughs> and Jane taught Thor the way of the Oh people. God, he's dressed up as a hot dog. I don't like it when people call hot dogs wieners. I think it's weird. Y'all want to roast some weenies? Kids, grab the weenies. We're going to roast them. Ew. I need you to promise me you'll always protect her. And I love you too, buddy. Oh, did he just I summons the hammer to- It's a way of becoming magical. Oh. But the more he pondered a life with Jane, the more he feared losing that life. And although Jane didn't want to admit it, she was scared of loss as well. Isn't that so weird? I mean, we're talking about gods, right? But humans are afraid to lose something, so they'll just self-sabotage to the point where they lose what they want. Ridiculous. I have to stay up all night well, really, to I'm, go through this data. Okay? I have to stay up all night and, and clean all of this up. There's the two station. plates! <laughs> and it's two plates and two forks! And we had salad at night, so there were bowls! Is that the necro sword? That's cool. I've only ever read about it in stories. <laughs> you know, this is going to... Ew, go. dude. How closely to the comics do Thor movies follow? That's what I want to know. Who is this guy? I know he's from the beginning, but like, what makes him think that he can just take out a bunch of gods? Is he a badass or... I mean, he looks like one. That has got to be the most terrifying thing. I'd imagine some parents are like, yeah, take that little snot-nosed brat. But I mean, for the normal parent, that would be fucking awful. I flew around the world twice. <laughs> Cowards must have run okay. away. All right. Flew around the world twice. Jane, how did you get this way? Let's start there. My daughter's been taken out of and she'll be found. Guys, they're bleeding. Get them to the infirmary. She's rocking a Phantom of the Opera shirt. That's sick. So that's the ex-girlfriend, is it? Jodie Foster. Jane Foster. <laughs> the one that got away. Jodie Foster. Jane Fonda. <laughs> it must be hard for you to see your ex-girlfriend and your ex-hammer hanging out and getting on so well. Yeah, thanks, Korg. What you up to, bro? Come. Come to daddy. Come to papa. Oh. Papa wants you. Come on, I'll give you some biscuits. Oh. Just calling you. I love how they did like the hammers <laughs> are actually like partners or the people he's married to. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Stormbreaker, what are you doing? Is this about Mjolnir? <laughs> I promise.
face. I have way more fun with you than I ever did with that hammer. Thor? Can you see me? What the hell is this? It's Astrid Heimdall's son, now known as Axel. He's a singer from a popular band I heard on Earth. <laughs> nice. Good choice, though. Axel. Astrid. I said Axel. Astrid. Axel! It's asshole! Now listen to him! <laughs> Did Korg call him asshole? Like a combination of Astrid and Axel? Asshole. <laughs> hey, but it is a, a top-notch team, and then we're gonna have you home before you know it. Where are they? Some dark ass dimension? I know where you are. I'm gonna get you out of here. Okay, well again, if I just shut the fuck up and watch the movie, I'll get the answers to the questions I'm asking. The atmosphere there has a darkness like no other. It's as if color feels to tread, it's unmistakable. Well then, if it's color we need, let's bring the rainbow. <laughs> what? Bring the rainbow, is that a catchphrase or something? She's not no, that's a terrible catchphrase. Hey, my dick is made of Skittles. You wanna taste the rainbow? Thor, don't say that again. What's Omnipotent City? It's the home of the most powerful gods in the universe. We could recruit Ra, uh, Hercules, Hercules? Where the hell was Hercules when we were trying to defeat Thanos? Uh, if we had a ship, we could harness it and use Stormbreaker as a power source. I've got a ship. Ah! Oh my god, those goats, dude. <laughs> Why? Uh, you moved on quick, didn't you? <laughs> got some piece of work. After all the good times we had. So how did uh, you guys get together? How did this happen? I heard Mjolnir call to me. Oh, did it? And so <laughs> Oh <laughs> just checking. <laughs> it's so awkward. I love it. I love awkward situations, they're great. What? We were just talking. This is so goofy, dude. This is ridiculous. Even when I'm gone, honey, you won't be alone. That's her mom? Oh, God. Damn, she's been working out too. Okay, well, now you're still going through the same problem and you have to call a plumber. Yes. I hand grenade. It's a portable speaker. Oh. Mary J. Blige? Oh. If you don't mind keeping the sink thing under wraps, I got you. What was she sinking? <laughs> we will return with children, and then we shall feast. Hold on, the children. Do not do that anymore. Wait, why? It was a dark time. Oh, God. What? When did you ever feast on children? And what are with these goddamn goats? <laughs> this is just the weirdest movie of all time. Weirdest Marvel movie. You still rollerblading? No, no. You? Oh yeah, every weekend. Once you blade, you never fade. Right, Cog? Skatemates for life? <laughs> Skatemates for life? <laughs> Soul skaters! If you know what that's from, I love you. Drop a comment if you know. It took me a long time to perfect it. You'll get there, you just need to practice. Just my first bad guy. You never forget your first. <laughs> we talking about bad guys or we, what are we talking about? What's happening there? What? My, uh, hurting feelings. Feelings with Jane? No, don't be ridiculous. Feelings. The last time we had feelings was a long time ago. Long, long gone. I think. You... Okay, we both know y'all want to bump each other. Ah, what a neat story. <laughs> oh, this is Opti. Hello, Opti. How are you? Oh. You know what Opti loves? Having his head ripped off. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, dude. Opti's gone. What are we watching? Thor is on his way. Yeah. I'm counting on that. That's why you're here. Okay, so the kids are here, so Thor will come rescue him, and then sketchy dude with terrible dental care can try to kill Thor. Holy shit. Whoa. That is awesome. Oh, look at that one. Oh, yeah, that's 
Bow, go to dumplings. Psst, hey, bow. <laughs> dumplings? Aw, bow. That's the Cronin God, Ninny of the Nonny. Hey, Ninny Nonny. <laughs> what? Hey, Ninny Nonny. <laughs> Who's playing Zeus? And do we get to see Hercules? <laughs> uh, okay. I guess that's accurate, right? Zeus was like a heftier dude in mythology. At least this movie didn't have Zeus throw the fucking lightning bolt and have the goat scream as the sound effect. <laughs> many, many serious matter to be talked about. <laughs> Where are we going to hold this year's orgy? Oh, just giant orgies? Y'all down or? No? Okay. Who's talking? These guys. Go Korg. Do you have something to say to the group? <laughs> Yeah, we're down to try anal. Hey, I'm Thor. There's a maniac called the God Butcher who seeks to end us all. His destruction is everywhere, entire planets, realms. I tell you, one time, now you shut up. You be quiet because you are this close to being uninvited to the orgy. <laughs> you want grapes and your asshole licked? You're not coming to the orgy. Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise and flick. <laughs> Oh, sweet God! But too hard, damn it! G <laughs> Rest in peace, Loki. He's got the bug antlers on him. Great. Mm, oh. Like a shy cool shit. <laughs> what about the? <laughs> okay, guys, drop a comment. Super important question: Does Thor have a huge dick, or is it a, is it small? What do you guys think? Got to be huge, right? I'm talking 13 inch hog. <laughs> That little turn is great. Couple of things. <laughs> One, yes, I am scared. Go. Is that? Wait, I don't even know who's who this dude is. This looks like Russell Crowe. Is that Russell Crowe? You are safe here. So chill, baby cake. <laughs> so chill, baby cake. <laughs> That's Russell Crowe. Now I put your clothes back on. <laughs> flick, flick. The golden Dude, this cast is crazy. Oh yeah, them girls pissed. They want to see that that slug. Sorry. I need your lightning bolt. My lightning bolt is called Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt! <laughs> Damn, that's actually pretty sick. Wow. Wow. The God Butcher, he will not reach eternity. Eternity? What does he mean, reach eternity? Live forever? Eternity is a very powerful being at the center of the universe. We'll grant the desire of the first person who reaches it. Oh. You know what? We'll stop him ourselves. I am afraid I cannot allow that. You must stay. God! All the girls are like, he's staying? Oh, this year's orgy. Tammy, did you hear that? Thor's gonna be in the orgy. Tell Suzanne. <laughs> Damn, these Zeus and Hercules people are weak as hell. Bell, touch. No, did that kill Korg? Oh, I'm, I'm perishing! No! No. Do not tell me Korg just died like that. Oh. That's the sound of lightning. Uh, that is so cheesy. Uh, Thor just killed Zeus? Oh, Here I am! Okay. I didn't die! Oh, you're alive! Turns out the only part of a Cronin that's alive is his mouth. Corgi, listen. It's kind of frightening. Why is this movie so weird? <gasps> the ghosts? <laughs> I love the soundtrack of this movie. <laughs> 
goats pulling a giant biblical ship along Rainbow Road. That's what this movie is. All wrapped in a little sweet child of mine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, whatever. Fucking Zeus is dead and we stole his lightning bolt. And you, you got properly humiliated. So I got properly naked, which I'm okay with. Jane? I was okay with it. <laughs> I bet you were. Cork, I loved it. I, I loved it. <laughs> oh, it's quite the view, huh? Yeah, beautiful. I just want to say that was uh, very, very impressive what you did back there. Just, uh, you and me all there. <laughs> just grab her and kiss her. We know you want to do it. Beautiful. So beautiful, so rare. They're Whoa! Wild creatures, and they mate for life in packs of six. Okay. Oh, brother man, you look so hot. I wanna get in your rocks. <laughs> oh, Korg. This is a very sexual movie. My friend here told me that it's better to feel shitty from losing love than it is to never experience love and to feel nothing at all, to feel empty. And I think he was right. <laughs> The sentiment is sweet, but the package you wrapped it up in sucks ass, dude. I'd rather you be shitty than not have your shit. What? No. I want to live in the moment. I want to live like there's no tomorrow. Throw caution to the wind. I want I want to be with you, Jane. Well, what do you say? I have cancer. Okay. So do I just, why did I forget about that massive detail? Did I say I didn't mean that? Just kidding. That's, a, that's worse. That's a terrible joke. How do you feel now? I'm so scared. How are you feeling? <sighs> shitty. Oh, shitty. <laughs> really shitty. Yeah! That's what we want! That gives me goosebumps, dude. I love them together. That makes me really happy. I wonder what those two are talking about out there. Yeah, they're not talking. Oh. Ooh, they're getting their rocks on. Ooh, a little pinky grab. Okay, it's probably, I, I think I sat on this for too long without wanting to say anything. Is it supposed to be black and, oh. Okay, it's supposed to be black and white. I thought the damn color stopped working on my screen or something. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Weird movie. Butterfinger. Dude, that thing is creepy as hell. Holy shit. Why is this, is this dude just powerful in this realm? Call the axe. Don't call the axe when you call the dentist. <laughs> yeah. You got some busted ass teeth, dude. You went to the gods for help and they did nothing. They're alike in that sense. I see nothing like you. What was that? <laughs> dude, Christian Bale is creepy as fuck. Are you a Valkyrie? Yes. Oh, how exciting. Your sisterhood was led to slaughter. Did you pray to the gods when the women you loved lay dying on the battlefield? Dude, you got issues. You can't generalize like that. You're dying. I'm sorry. We're on the same path. Just as the sword empowered me, the hammer <laughs> Sorry about that. That just sneezed me back to Sunday. Don't know what that meant. I had a daughter once. I put my faith in a higher power, hoping it would save her. And she That is really sad, but your teeth are fucking disgusting, dude. Choose love. Call the act. Choose love. Oh. Call. Why does this thing want Thor to call the axe so bad? I don't get it. Could then summons all the fucking ew shadow monsters. Ew. Now I see a giant spider. I have PTSD to the spider scare. <laughs> oh 
shit, that's so cool. Okay, I answered my own question from earlier. The dude has those powers because of the sword, right? Oh my god, it's not just gonna be her face that's left over, she's not a rock. That thing is terrifying. They did a really good job with the villain in this movie. Ew. Do not let her, oh my god, you let him have Stormbreaker? Oh my god, are you serious, dude? Yeah, we'll see if you'll continue to be a selfish little bitch after you've been hanging around this guy. See how bad you missed Thor, Stormbreaker. I do need you, Jane. I need you alive, but that hammer is killing you. Oh. Every time you use it, it's draining all of your mortal strength. Oh. Your body unable to oh, makes sense, okay. I wanna keep fighting. I'm the mighty Thor. I'm the mighty Thor. What? So how are you feeling with the old stab wound? I think I lost my kidney. Gone. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, you don't need it, right? Ugh. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and state something for the record that at least it's good he's not doing any weird shit with the kids. I mean, he is falsely imprisoning them. That's kind of fucking weird, but I feel like this whole situation could be a lot worse. Although he did throw his fucking weird space worm on them. Whatever. Wait, why is this guy worthy of holding Stormbreaker, right? Shouldn't he not be worthy? I don't know. I feel like this movie doesn't connect all the way. Hey, kids. Oh, Jesus, I was about to say the kids were just murdered. All right, listen up, here's the plan. We're gonna sneak our way towards Stormbreaker. Being very careful not to bump into any of those big shadow monsters. Okay, let's speed the plan up. We got fucking demonic creatures. And who the hell is this Grinch kid? Does anyone here have battle experience? No, they're 11. Oh. They don't have weapons. Okay, go, come on. Okay, that's kind of terrifying. Just a bunch of children with deadly weapons. Today is a day that will go down in history. <laughs> a damn Today's battle speech, day, really. Talk. We have time for this? We are space Vikings. Present arms. Dude, okay, that's not gonna fire up a bunch of kids. You say, yo, I got unlimited Skittles and video games in the back. Y'all win, you get invited to the party. Who's with me? For limited time only, the power of the Oh my God. No way. Gives them all his power? Lead your army to that axe. <laughs> with Guns N' Roses playing. Come on, asshole. Why couldn't this have happened earlier in the movie? <laughs> it's weird seeing dude. These monsters look fucking weird. This looks like straight out of a kid's nightmare. Like these monsters and then kids just with all this power. Oh, she feels his pain? I'm pulsing, baby. I need you to grab me. Mount me and let's ride. Oh, shit. All right, Jane, one more day. Pegasus, baby. Pegasus, let's go. Jane. She risked her life for you, dude. That's true love right there. All right, time to fuck up this demon. Stormbreaker, stop this! Get a hold of yourself. Look what you're doing. Come on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Stormbreaker is now all edgy. Like her personality changed. She's got like fucking black hair swooped over her eye. It's like, what are you doing, Stormbreaker? You're on some weird vibes. If you can't say Mighty Thor, <laughs> I'll accept Doctor Jane Foster. Okay. 
Dr. Jane Foster. Eat my hammer! <laughs> Eat my hammer? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I like that. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I feel like somebody that really like dick jokes made this movie. Like if I had to have made one of the MCU movies, I probably would have ended up making something like this. Yeah, Jane's catchphrase is eat my hammer. What? Damn. What? Oh god, that's gonna kill her, isn't it? Jane? I'm okay. You don't look okay. Hey, where the hell did you go? What? I know your pain, but this isn't the way. It's not death or revenge that you seek. What is it, love? Is he gonna say love? If so, that's cheesy as hell, but it's probably the answer. You seek love. You seek love and thunder, baby. Why would I spend my last moments with you when I can be with her? I choose love. You can too, you can bring her back. That was his advice to choose love. Make your wish. Oh. Oh, he made it to the, oh, I get it. He made it to the one wish place. Is he gonna wish for her cancer to go away? Wait, he could have his daughter back? He's gonna wish for his daughter back, right? I'm dying. She would have no one. She would be alone. Oh, well, I mean, that's convenient because we know you would have chosen your daughter. She won't be alone. What? Wait, is Jane implying that Thor will take take care of his daughter? What are you gonna wish for? He's gonna wish for Jane's cancer to go away, isn't he? Could you get like a compound wish? Could you be like, I wish that I wasn't dying and I get to, and my daughter returns. I guess that's two. But you could formulate it to make it arguably be one, I don't know. Wait, so he did wish for his daughter to be back. I've gotten an extra life. It was so magical. Talking about the actual hammer or Thor's hammer? I think I figured out my catchphrase. Okay, let's hear it. Suck my hammer. What? So she's gonna die. But this movie's been fucking weird as hell. For all we know, Thor's gonna look down and Jane's gonna have a face of a goat and it's gonna go, ah! Well, okay, that's so sad then, dude. Everybody Thor loves ends up turning to dust and dying. Thor, buddy, I'm so sorry. That's such a complicated situation. It's like, you're the reason for all this fucking craziness and now you ask Thor to protect your daughter, but she's innocent. And then Jane was like, yeah, Thor's gonna do it. And he's like, yeah, I guess I'll fucking do it. Your ball sack looking head, I guess I'll take care of your daughter. <sighs> it's complicated. The mighty Thor, AKA Dr. Jane Foster. Her sacrifice saved the universe and taught us all what it means to be worthy. Hopefully this isn't like Doctor Strange where they throw up a statue as some bullshit commemoration. The kids were safe to be kids again, especially after their king made them all go to self-defense class. Oh, wait. Is the reason this movie's fucking weird as hell because Korg has been telling it the whole time? I don't, I do, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm reaching. I don't know. I was forging one of my own. Now that my body's grown back with a dude I met called Dwayne. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because he had found something to live for. Something to love for. Cooking. A little someone who turned oh. him from sad god into uh, dad god. There you go. Hey, Aww. Just... What is that? They're, they're pan flaps from Earth. 
I don't think I like panda flaps. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Now, where are your boots? I'm wearing them. Oh, those are dirty as hell. Get them off the table. They're black. Go to hell, Steven. Oh. Brand new, now destroyed. Thank you. I love Dad Thor. Now, where is Mjolnir? Where'd I put it? Over there, sleeping. Oh, wow. That is not coming off. Okay, she's per she's Sharpie. Okay. Oh, living on the beach? They look nice. Yeah, they are nice. That's why we have to look after them. Got it. Protect the nice one. I love you, sweetie. Love you, Uncle Thor. Oh, he's dad and out, but he's an uncle. Two warriors fighting the good fight. Yo, she's those. got the massive hammer. The hammer's as big as her. They have traveled far and have been given many names. But to those who know them best, what are they, they called? Simply known as Love and Thunder. Oh, uh, wow. Dude, that's cool. I didn't know Love and Thunder was going to be Thor and his adopted daughter, niece, child. We're sticking around for the end credit. I love all like the heavy metal rock style font. Really cool. That movie was just like, just a little cheesy. I, I think if I'm not mistaking, is the thing about Korg true that was told through his lens or that's exactly how everything played out? If it's exactly how it played out, it's weird as fuck. If it's told through Korg's story, Korg's lens, it makes a bit more sense. But what the fuck were, what's up with the goats? It used to be that being a god. Uh, oh Jesus, don't tell me we're gonna see an orgy. Actually, I would kind of like to see that. They just want to see one of their so-called superheroes. Superheroes. <laughs> they will fear us again. When Thor Odinson falls from the sky, do you understand me, Hercules? No fucking way. Me, my son? Yes, father. Hercules versus Thor? No way, dude. Is that going to be the next Thor movie? Is this heaven? Jane Foster. Heimdall! Thank you for looking after my son. Jane, your hair looks excellently conditioned. Welcome to Valhalla. Valhalla? Wow. Thor will return. Let's hope that Jane's not gonna start getting piped down by Heimdall. That'd be weird. Dude, that movie was honestly really cool, okay? I, for me, man, it's kind of strange because these Thor movies, it, it seems like Marvel and the MCU uses these movies almost as a way to experiment, right? You have the same director that directed Thor Ragnarok, which was a very different movie. And this had that same type of energy in the sense that it's just like extremely weird and out there. Okay, the goats. I'm, I'm again gonna ask about the fucking goats. Jane's cancer storyline, kind of interesting. I feel like there was a lot of interesting things laced into this movie the cancer line you had i am a complete advocate for same-sex relationships and marriages 100 percent do whatever the fuck you want there was a lot of that laced in here i thought that was that was an interesting choice as well for me the best part about this movie was the cast and how good of a job this cast did i love seeing a-list celebrities doing a top tier job in terms of acting but for like more comedy based movie you know what i'm saying it's not like some huge theatrical performance and in my mind these thor movies this was a particularly good one i think ragnarok is still my favorite this might be my second favorite these movies seem to be what you make of them right i feel like for avengers endgame and infinity war and even no way home despite some people are want to play the contrarian approach and are like yeah no way home just hit the nostalgia but it was a terrible movie i think that i grouped those three movies in a category of you kind of have to like them there's no real room to argue that it's a bad movie in these thor movies i think that there is an argument to it being not the best movie but it's totally what you make of them and for me I, I try to go into the mindset of watching these movies with that these are fucking fun dude they're, they're entertaining they're comedy based and they're filled with just a lot of cool things like the the badass actors and, and i always have a good time watching these thor movies so i don't know what you guys think about it i would absolutely love to know your thoughts down below in the comments and with all that being said i will see you guys for the next movie which will be wakanda forever it's gonna be a fucking kick-ass one love you guys i'll see you in the next one peace Y'all make sure to go check out Alice too. He's got a YouTube channel.